Looks like it has a gun in its mouth. Ah, uh, what am I? <laughs> what am I? What am I? Ni Ken translates as two swords. I guess we ran out of universally understood Japanese words. LMW, leaning multi wheel. Well, tricycle seems like a ready made term, but I guess Yamaha doesn't want to cross that line. Whatever peas or princesses I'm running over are lost somewhere in this cushy linkage. My hands feel nothing. It countersteers like a motorcycle. A slow motorcycle. The trouble with double wheels is dragging that extra gyroscope from side to side. My guess? They use tiny 15-inch scooter tires to mitigate the molasses-esque handling. I'm sure it helps. It also caps the brake discs at 300 millimeters. Ah. The triple is ripped from elsewhere, much like an Amy Schumer joke, it falls flat on retelling. Where the engine soars in an XSR or FZ, here Yamaha weighted the crankshaft, steeled the transmission gears, so it'll lug the extra 100 pounds. In fairness to the fairest of engines, 113 horsepower still feels competent, light-hearted even, just not as hot-blooded as it has been. Forty-three degrees is the line where the pegs drag. Forty-five degrees is the lockout line. Beyond that, you'd normally say, shit, I'm in too hot. It's time to trust the tires, lean lower, find the grip, or crash trying. That's a hard no on the Nikon. If 45 degrees ain't enough, you're running wide. Because 45 degrees is all you get. Hmm. Well, Yamaha claims this is a performance exercise, the result of a 10-year quest to improve front-end grip over a regular motorcycle. But if I can't go as fast, stop as fast, or turn as fast as a regular motorcycle, why do I need the superfluous grip? Like racing slicks on a radio flyer, I ain't got the hardware to cross that line. Ah, the environment brings our limits closer. One wheel hits a wet leaf, a patch of gravel, a bump. 
Then I need the second one to ignore the pavement intricacies. Normally these tar snakes cause my aphidiophobic bridgestones to shudder. Normally with a front end slip, your roadkill or your Mark Marquez. But on the Nikon, I can push the front in bad conditions and play with little slides. Still feels numb, but trust the machine with your head, not your hands, and it'll surprise you. Yank the ABS fuse and it stoppies like a lawn dart. Disable the traction control and it drifts with a sumo stability. So the Nikon is better in certain marginal conditions. Can you picture a grizzled marginal weather veteran saying, ignore the pavement intricacies. Trust the machine with your head, not your hands. Yank the ABS fuse. Disable the traction control. Push the front in bad conditions. Mm, I'm not sure touring folks want to cross those lines. Ah. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Nah. Ah. 18 liters gone and only 220 clicks. And if you want a wide touring shroud, at least fill it with something like more gas. And if you want to be a sport bike, then trim this massive windsock so I can actually see the traction ballet. <sighs> What am I? Yamaha provides a utility vehicle for cycling fans. Is something to get the crochet crowd hooked. A new option for aging maestros. What? Well, the Nikon falls over like anything else. At 33 inches, the seat is both higher and wider than my ass, so it's actually trickier to tippy-toe than most motorcycles. Only when shaky legs inevitably drops it, it weighs as much as a Hayabusa to pick up. Unlikely. And the last time Yamaha tried a fancy, heavy, and numb front end, it flunked out of the market in two years. I think Yamaha fully expects the Nikon to sell like a bacon latke. I think at 20 grand a pop, they're not even planning to cover R&D. Stop. If you think the existence of a one-off machine has any effect on your angry little life, you need to give your head a shake. Nobody? The Tri-Glide was Harley's third best-selling platform. Don't tell anyone, though they'll happily admit they've moved a half billion dollars worth. Shit. Ken am is making a meal of it. Piaggio's profited. People are definitely asking the three-wheeled question. Our current best answer is tilting motor works. Give them your beloved motorcycle and another 15 grand, and they'll give you another 15 years riding it. The wide track can lock upright below 10 kph for those with lower body issues. The wide track could be driven with a car license in several countries. But as we know, Yamaha doesn't cross that line. Forty two centimeters. Only four shy of being the most radical vehicle to stick beneath a car license. Yamaha can't be that foolish. Now these second suspension tubes, they're dummy. They do nothing but add strength and direct the front wheels. But if they were controlled by a gyro housed in the enormous empty shroud, you could hold the trike upright. You probably only need to add like, ah, four centimeters. Then it'd be perfect for utility purposes, for riders without riding licenses. 
for those whose balance is aging. Yet the platform would still be proven here, 45 degrees off the asphalt under bars the same width as the bike, a motorcycle first, a tricycle second. Perfectly positioned on both sides of the line, Ah, what am I? Going to be. In a few years time, it could be a killer. <laughs>